Hello and welcome. Welcome to the second week in January. And I have a little bit of information that I'm going to share with you this week about haiku and calendars and the seasons. Did you know that in historical Japan, the concept of the seasons extended far beyond the, the simplicity of the four seasons we know today? One of the things that I'm drawn to the most about traditional Japanese haiku is the connection it shares with the four seasons. But some haiku poets from centuries ago also considered the new year to be a fifth season. In the ancient lunar calendar, the onset of spring roughly aligned with the first day of the first month, making the initial weeks of spring the focal point for New Year's celebrations and rituals. Seasonal words in haiku are called a kiko that makes a reference to the season. And then when the adoption of the Gregorian commercial calendar came into being in 1873. This changed things and prompted the haiku community to decide on a compromise. This was when seasonal words specifically tied to New Year's festivities were relocated to a distinct fifth season spanning approximately from January 1st to January 15th. Will those associated with early spring, typically February, remained within that season? Despite this adjustment, sev several season seasonal words featuring the word spring stayed in the New Year's section of the list that were deeply rooted to New Year's traditions during this time. It sounds a little bit like a riddle, but I hope that made sense. <laughs> and to take the seasonal words one step further, I recently discovered that there are 72 Japanese micro seasons that are based on the ancient map and calendar that marks the progress of the seasons with a mixture of culture and nature. This calendar was rooted in tradition, tracking the evolving seasons by documenting changes in nature and giving distinctive names that reflect the subtle shifts in the cycle of a year. Rose winter sunrise, drifting wisps of clouds in a sky filled with love. Rose winter sunrise and drifting wisps of clouds in a sky filled with love. Now that we are in the heart of winter, January is the best time to sink into the stillness of winter with the free winter journal that you can download in the link below. It will help you sink into the stillness of the season that will give you some rest and reflection. I will post another video next week, so I will see you then.